Okay, this is going to be a video on putting a tab inside of this first drawer. So we're kind of combining the two different um, layout components, the drawer and the tab. Now, what I'm going to do is I have the, so I looked at it, as we know, the tab documentation. I don't, I don't think this is going to get us where we want to go. So the approach that I'm going to take is uh, I have a blog post, which I'll link below, which I walked to building out a um, application based on a tab route that I'm just going to kind of step through. Please make sure you like and subscribe, share with your friends, uh, leave comments below, and let's get to the code. So since we already have a basic app going, we're going to jump right down to starting a tabs, tab group. And what we're going to do different is because we want the tab to exist inside of the drawer, we're going to replace this home structure here, this whole layout, with the tab layout, and then put the home structure that we have here inside of the tab. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this tab folder that we have right here and follow the instructions here on how to create this tab structure here in place of this home and then put this home folder inside of the tab. So let's follow the instructions that we have here. So the first thing we, we want to do here is create a new folder called tabs. And the we know the first thing that we want to do is we're going to take this whole home structure that we have here and we want it to be the uh, home page for the tabs so that when I select the what we currently have here, when I select home, it will basically render the whole tabs component with this page as the home. So we have tabs. Let's move home into tabs. So we moved home into tabs. But then as you know, since we have the tabs folder here, we need a layout inside of tabs, right? So let's create that new file. Call it layout. And we need this layout to render a tabs. So let's go back to the documentation that we have here. This is our layout. I'm just going to copy this layout and drop it in here. And so uh, let's see, why is this not happy? Oh. Let me kind of rename this appropriately. Okay. So now we have our tabs layout and its main screen is home. So now this home folder that we have here should be the first uh, page for tabs. So let's now go down to our app index and we want, we don't want it to redirect to drawer we want it to redirect to tabs slash home. So that's the default route. And what do we have here? So we have tabs down here, and then now we have the index page of the home, so we have it right. I just need to clean up some names here. So let's go tabs, layout, home, home, so we have our tab screen options, our header shown as false. We have our tab screen, which is set to home, our tab bar layout is home. So this layout here is right. Now let's check our, so there's our tabs. Let's go down and check our drawers layout. And so this is incorrect. What we want our drawers layout now to point to by default, the default is the tabs because we've now replaced that as you can see here that's the default is tabs so let's place this to tabs and we'll leave the drawer label the same because we want it to point to home and that should get our drawer screen right let's see what we have now so we have our home which is correct and then now we're there and then we have our settings which is correct. But home is kind of boring with just one page. So let's kind of do what we did in our uh, home in our original uh, tabs video, which I will also reference in the link below. And let's copy this old home page and just create another page. So we'll say copy. 
And let's rename this to something. Let's rename this to notifications. All right. So now you can see we have our two tabs here. Let's kind of change this stuff on the inside so that it actually makes sense. Well, first, let's update our uh, tabs and add the new screen here. And let's name this. And tab our label is notifications notifications title notifications. And it's saying there's no oh it's notification. Let's rename this to notifications notifications. All right, and so now we have our home. And then when we get to our home, it has our nested tabs, and then we have our two pages. Let's fix this. So let's go into notifications, layout, stack, index. Let's change. So let's change this to notifications. So we have it top right there, and let's say um, index page of notifications tab. Right, because these are tabs now. So we have all that straight. Let's see, is the next page work? Next page works because I have it there, but let's just change the name so that we know. Next page of notifications. Uh, this. And notifications. Next page. Next page of notifications. Back. Tab. Settings. And let's just do a hard refresh. And everything's working. So now we have a drawer that has a tabs nested inside of it. And it, like I said, it was pretty straightforward. All we did was we replaced one of the drawers with the tab stack. And then in the layout, we kind of appropriately uh, renamed things, specifically saying the name of the, of the screen that you want to render is really this tab stack here. And so then we go inside of the tab stack, and then the tab stack says, for the tab stack layout says, hey, we're going to render tabs, and home is the first guy. So that's what we're seeing here. Um, for this, since it's a little bit uh, trickier, I will put together a little blog post and kind of lay out the changes that we made in the code to get this to work. Like I said, it's short and sweet. You know, you got to just do a couple of these, and after a while, you start to get the hang of how it all fits together. I know some people are saying it's more complex than React Navigation. I think it's just a different kind of mental model that you need to get in your mind to understand kind of the relationships between these things. I think also some people, for some people, this concept of um, this grouping versus just folders is also kind of throws some people off. I'm not even sure if I'm doing it correctly, but I found an approach that works for me. And so that's, that's kind of how I work. So um, leave your thoughts below. Thanks, and we'll chat with you later. Bye.